Ewans. Welcome back to my channel, Twinnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. It's just this ho. Here comes the intro. Okay, so today I'm going to be telling you why I just won't be purchasing Mew Mew ever. And part of it is I got duped. And another part of it is I can't tell if they're, you know, what's real and what's not with them. So anyway, I'm going to show you what I got duped with. And you guys are going to be like, wow, how did you not know, right? Okay, that's one thing. But first, the good folks at Julia <laughs> have sent me something really nice and I'm going to share it with you. So with Julia, packaging is always good. If you want to put it in this little gift bag, that's always a nice touch. This time I got two items, which I know I will love. I pick out the items, guys. So sometimes with she said yes, I'll say, hey, surprise me. But Julia, I like to go through and just pick out, you know, something really nice. And this I thought you guys would love. I try to pick out things that I think are affordable one because Julia really is. I mean, you can get some expensive things, pricey things on their site and totally do that if you want to, but I like getting a bargain. So when I pick out things, I try to get things that I think everybody can afford and also give sort of a designer look to it. So this one I thought looked very Cartier-ish, like the, like the panther type head things. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> But it's so cute. It has the little cat heads on each side and little green emerald eyes. And all this is done in like a pave looking. But this is very affordable, guys. I'm telling you, you can get this, score this for around 100 bucks. Also, I'll have a promo code listed below. So it's totally worth trying. But it does this thing where it, you know, opens up and then you just clamp it down. Now, is my wrist a little large? Yes! But yeah, it looks really good with my stack. I just thought this was really cute. But yeah, I love it. I love it. Now, a lot of people have asked me, though, incidentally, uh, did I get a, a VCA? No. No, I did not. This is an Etsy special. Anyway, but I do love the look of VCA, but I won't be buying it. No, ma'am. Never. But speaking of VCA, my other item that Julia so graciously gifted me was a gold clovered necklace. I hope that's coming in for you guys. That's all stoned and bejeweled out and I just thought this was really classy and really a nice look. So I got this one too. Thank you guys so much for gifting me these just beautiful beautiful pieces. I love the quality. Everything that I have from Julia I wear tons of their stuff. It hasn't tarnished. The stones still look great. You can get, you know, lab created, uh, like moissanite and stuff like that on the site, but they always have a really good deal. And I don't know, I just like dealing with them. So I'm going to put them down in my box. Girl, get in there, roll around, find that link and go over and check out everything though, because they are doing it up right. And I'm sure they have a sale. And with my promo code, you kind of can't afford to, you know, miss it and pass it up. <laughs> just saying. Thank you to Julia. I was gonna put my little necklace on, but I have a hard time without help getting my necklaces on, but this one also came from Julia. So anyway, yeah. All right, so here's the deal. I bought what I thought to be Mew Mew, but no. So Mercari is now just the wild, wild west of fakery. It just is. You can't go on there. Like I'm not buying anything that, unless I know that it's like, okay. So the other day I did buy a very cute handbag that sort of looks like the row made it, but it's not. And it plainly says on there, there's no markings, no whatever. It's just a row looking bag. And I thought it was really cute. And I got it 
for $36, but they weren't trying to fake you out, but they will be. You, you gotta be careful. I don't know why they're allowing this to happen. Is there a loophole? Are they just losing money and they're like, just anybody can sell anything? Because anytime I've tried to sell something, that's not even a fake, guys. I've never done that. But I have sold, tried to sell like a makeup pouch that I bought from Amazon once. And it just had the little, it looked like little card symbols, like a diamond, a heart, and a spades on it. You know, it was from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. And I didn't use it, so I was trying to sell it on. They flagged me as soon as I posted. Like, it didn't even go live for one second. They, they flagged me and said, you can't post blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but wait a minute. Y'all are post letting people post all kinds of crap. Here's a tip for you. If you go on to the person that is selling the items feedback, there'll be a brand new seller with zero feedback and whatnot. That is a quick way to figure it out. But also, two and three thousand dollar bags are not two hundred dollars, so and never will they be. I should have realized that. But here's the thing: on eBay, I was looking for a Mew Mew tote, and I found a really good one for like 180 bucks, and I almost bought it. But then I was like, let me go over to Macar and see what they have. And I found this bag, and I thought this bag is really cute. I had no reason to believe it was fake, none at all, guys, because I will tell you this the authentic ones were coming in like you can buy a vintage authentic Mew Mew for like 180 250 300 dollars like in that range so I was like well this is not out of the realm of possibility y'all know I love to say that every time I do a video but also I don't buy Mew Mew I don't even look at Mew Mew I've never before now been onto the Mew Mew site Never. I, I just have looked at stuff on Mercari and eBay. And the eBay sellers are selling, like the Japanese sellers are selling them for really cheap. And I just thought, okay, so Mew Mew must be that. I didn't take my own rule of investigate further, go deep in, go to the actual website of the company and look at their pieces and see, because no way in hell was I gonna get a 3,000, yes. This was a $3,000 bag. So I ended up getting this bag, it's a fake. I knew it just as soon as I opened it, like, oh, okay, well, this is totally a fake. It didn't look like the pictures. The pictures look like a genuine bag. But I saw Jesse Style do a video on like, what's hot right now, right after I bought this and it came and she quoted this bag showed it and and I went on the site and it's like three grand it's like three thousand dollars so no way in hell could you buy this for a couple hundred that being said I'm stupid this is dumb on my part I just can't believe that I'm that stupid but here's the tip off as soon as I got it out of the bubble pack it was sent to me in a bubble pack hi um an east west bag is sent to <laughs> me and in this polyester, not good, barely stitched together on a sewing machine. Yeah. So the dust bag was a dead giveaway. And also the smell of the bag. The hydroxa foo, foo came through in a big way. Now I have to, and it's still there. I have to tell you that the pictures were in a Mew Mew box with an actual Mew Mew. I mean, it was a, I don't know if they took a fake picture, but they must have and posted it because this ain't it, sis. This is not the one. <laughs> but apparently this is a hot bag right now. I found this out from Jesse Style. I wish I had seen her video prior to purchasing this, but I didn't and this is what I get. Could I return it? Probably, yeah. I'm sure I could, but I'm like, let this be a lesson. I'll probably give it to one of my nieces. Very expensive lesson to learn. I think it was a hundred and so I, I lowballed the people and they jumped on it. That's another thing. If you're going to lowball somebody and they take the offer right off the bat, that's another like, something's not right in Denmark. <laughs> so I kind of fully knew. And then I was in and I was like, you know what? Let's just see what comes in the mail. And this is what came in the mail. This is not a Mew Mew bag. It, there's nothing about this. It, it's fake, plasticky, not leather. I don't know. I've never seen one of these bags in person. I didn't know. I had no clue that they were $3,000. Like it's a new bag that they offer and it's three grand. Okay. That's how deceiving Mew Mew can be to me. Okay. So let's take off the crappy I've just had this sitting down in my garage because the, the smell has faded some, but I'm not gonna carry this. Like, no, not at all. So yeah, I'll probably give it to one of my little nieces. They love, love, love. 
these type, you know. So yeah, it's just not good. It's just not good. <laughs> Let me even see if I can open it. Okay. Does it come with a strap? See, I didn't even look any further. Once I realized it was, ah, I'll do a video about this. That's what I thought. Like, oh, okay, I'll do a video. But yeah, the inside, like it's not, she's not the one, sis. She is not the one. But I would like to have a bag like this. Am I going to buy one? No. Will I ever buy a Miu Miu bag? I mean, I say no now, but there's no way on the pre-loved market, I'd have to buy it from the actual Miu Miu site because here's the reason why. Let me put that thing down. If you go on eBay, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You can see, so here's Mercari with another little tiny. These bags were really, really kind of big. Remember, they were they were the ones. They were like, whoa, yes, girl. And they I think this is what made them on the map. And this is the only bag that I kind of knew. And then I got to searching. I could find different things from the Japanese sellers, like big totes, leather. You know, they had what looked to be very nice bags. And then this one on Depop is kind of the, it wasn't the ad that I was looking at, but this is kind of what showed up in Mercari. And I had no clue. Like, I did not know. I thought thought Mew Mew was really like kind of affordable like a coach or Tory Burch. No ma'am. No she's not. She is not. This is another one that Bricari, I don't know if they have this listed now because I just don't know. I'm not on there looking but when I bought this I sort of screenshotted some things but you'll see that this picture though look how shiny and nice the leather looks in the picture and then I mean it has a little bit of a sheen to it but it does not look right as good as the whatever let's see and then okay here is ebay with the metalasse leather bag and the small that sort of ruching bag that made them really popular that people were buying this doesn't appeal to me in any way i like the shape but uh beyond that that ruching part i don't like but it says 290 or best offer <sighs> what okay cut to this one this is what made me go, wait, what the F is going on? Why is that one 200 and every other one I find 100 or 200? And then boom, here we have one that says authenticity guaranteed, adorable pink coquette, coquette, Mew Mew, Arcady bag, Arcady bag. I don't know what they call these, but this is the actual bag. I bet it's real because these people are asking 1600 or best offer. You see the difference is there? You just being an old lady like me have no clue. You just go on there and think, oh, well, that looks like that bag everybody was showing. No. Like, the discrepancies between, like, the total differences in the price are astronomical from 200 and some odd dollars to this, 1600 <sighs> God, I'm so pissed at myself. This is... I. I always say like, do homework, look everywhere, but you know, I was on one of those buying tears like, oh yeah, buying everything. And this one, so this is a Japanese seller. It is called the Miu Miu, I think this is the Matalase as well, two-way navy blue bag, and they are asking $1,476. So this must be around the pre-loved pricing, $1,400 to $1,700. I don't know what these bags are new. I have no clue because I have never sought out these bags. I just started taking these screenshots to show you guys like, what the hell? The, the difference between, uh. So if that's the case, like, no, Mew Mew's not for me. If I can't legitimately say like, okay, I want a Mew Mew bag and I don't want to get taken for it, I just can't, I can't. And plus it's, it's really more expensive than I ever thought. Very cute bags. They have a really nice, they have a, girl, they have a little tiny, tiny, oh my God, like a bag charm that I would love. But I think it's like $1,300. So no, she's not for me. I'm not their clientele anyway. I think it's little, you know, younger, 20 something. Not that I, I don't own bags that also 20 something year old I don't think bags really have an age limit, but I think popular bags are, you know, they're marketing towards the 20 something year olds, right? And I got caught up in the hype and I thought, oh, that's a big thing this year. Woohoo, I'm gonna get it. No, ma'am, she did not get it. She did not. So that's why <sighs> we're out. We're out of the searching for Mew Mew. I'm done. Like, you're not getting me again. <laughs> 
So anyway, tell me your thoughts. Do you own an authentic from the boutique Mew Mew bag? If you thought of buying one, please, I would urge you to do the authenticity guarantee if you're going to buy pre-loved, say, on eBay. I'd urge you to stay away from Mercari. I know there probably are some legitimate bags sold there and they authenticate as well, but then you have 5,000, you know, fake sellers, unscrupulous sellers selling on Mercari right now. It is a just a wild west over there. I don't know if they're ever going to break down on the people. I'm not sure they have an algorithm, you know, put into place to catch, but they sure did think I was trying to sell a fake. And all I was selling was a dupe of a makeup bag that did not even have LVs or anything on it. It was just a brown with little symbols on it. You've seen what I'm talking about, right? It's just a, I didn't try to pass that off as a, Mercari, you guys got to get your shit together. Like, it's it's getting a little crazy. Like, people, mm -mm, we don't like it. Like, would I sell one of my Louis Vuitton actual bags on there? Before, I have. But I will not now. No. Hell no. Like, I can't even imagine trying to get on there and sell something. So anyway, what are your thoughts? Tell me everything. I hope this helps somebody out with not buying something that you're not really familiar with. I did not. When I saw, I, I'm telling you, when Jessie did her video and I saw, I went on the Mew Mew and saw the pricing of this actual bag that everybody was into this year, this square bag. I almost lost it. I almost ate my tongue. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so, yeah, do your research, find out, and definitely stay away from two and three hundred. I mean, if you're into that and that is what you're buying, I don't poo poo the idea of buying what you want. I don't tell somebody how to spend their money. I'd, I'd appreciate people not telling me, you know, so I know that's a thing. And people do like the odd fakery every now and then. And that's totally within your right. Like you can buy whatever is good for you. I am never going to say anything bad, bad about you. That's you. That's you and you're spending. So I would say if you are someone who likes that, Mercari is your place right now. Like you can go over there and find fake everything. Like you name it, search it. I guarantee you there'll be a two to three hundred dollar one coming up of a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar bag. Yeah, no problem. So go over there and check that out. I mean, it's worth looking at anyway, even if you're you're like me, you don't want to buy it. But yeah, this has been a whole lot. <laughs> like, yes. Have you bought something on Mercari thinking, oh yeah, this is, and then get it and be like, oh, God, really? So be careful. That's all I'll say. Do me a favor, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you've watched two, three, four, five of my videos, we are friends. Let's be family. Hit that subscribe button. Also, do me one more favor. If y'all see my husband, girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. That's it. I really don't have anything else to add. My son did go home yesterday. He stayed over here and the kids came over and all that good stuff. And, uh, he kind of slept in this room. You know how I know my son's been anywhere? I find full drinks just sitting on every surface in my house. And not that that's just the few sodas that he decided to buy and not drink. He bought these. I don't think we purchased these. But also half drunk water bottles <laughs> all over the house. Like, I get you're thirsty, but you have to litter up my whole house with your... Why? So that's how I know. That's how I know my son's been around. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna put a video right here. Do me a favor, click on that video and keep on watching. <laughs> fool me once, Makari. Fool me. Okay, you just keep on fooling me, man. Like apparently, fool me twenty times, guys. I can be fooled. Bye. <laughs>